I ran up a check, I might do it again Enemies close, had me thinking they're friends Ten toes down, I'll be free until the end Crib outside the city, I don't feel safe in my ass Took so many years, I'm just waiting for the wins I'm in debt to no one but the one who took my sins I do it for real, there's no reason to pretend If I do it once, I do it again Add it up, add it up. Bank roll, bank roll. Euro, Euro, peso, peso. Add it up, add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up, add it up. Bank roll, bank roll. Euro, Euro, peso, peso. Add it up. I'm just doing me. Everything is on me. Oh, you matter what? Add it up. Told her if it's all me, everything is on me. Gon' back it up. Matter what? Told you I'ma do me. Why you hating on me? It's not adding up. Do roll like a Mack truck, country heart. I'm a cop a farm and go act up. Lot of scars, I was cold hearted, now I'm backed up. Keep it real, I do this once a month. I don't rap much. I just take the money and go stack up. Only buying car heart, car car, to get tatted up. All that other bull, it don't matter much. You only climb me, I put the ladders up. No fault, I done doubled up on the workload. I think I fell in love with the bankroll. Pray up, get money, then we lay low. Then we lay low. Add it up. Yo, what's up? Welcome back, and thank you for staying tuned. So, just want to say good morning from Washington. We've been really busy, really busy. Just too much on my plate, too much food, just ain't enough time to eat. But I am going to show you exactly what we've been up to. So in the previous uh, time lapse, you saw everything that's going on. I'm going to just follow me over here. We'll see what's going on over here. So, first off, we will start off with... The garage door i had uh installed uh one inch insulation boards it made a big difference in how quiet it is it doesn't echo in here and it's a lot warmer especially during the winter we had like uh i think 28 degrees in here a few weeks ago and it was uh i could it was still cold in here of course but i can it was bearable so it made a big difference so let's jump back over here just want to give shout out to the brother yet he had helped me install these uh, insulation in the wall, both sides over here. Yeah, so it is coming together and I can feel a difference. And uh, shout out to Brother Sita. I'm gonna point the camera right up there, hold on. He had helped me install those one inch boards on top. Quieter, warmer, it's cheaper than doing the other route, but uh, it's quicker too, so if you're wondering, we are going to be running HVAC on each corner. One box here with the filter and one box there. So those are going to link up to a T-fitting HVAC right through the middle right there. And then I am going to run 12 inch all the way through. This is going to be for the exhaust. And then we're going to exit it. Punch a hole right there. Bam! And then there. Exhaust. So from the exhaust side, we're done with that part. I'm going to show you guys right around there where that ducting is. I'm going to build a box for the intake. It's going to be intaking fresh air from the outside so we could suck it all the way through here. So that way I got some fresh air in here for painting or when I'm welding at night and I want to shut the garage. So you get what I'm talking about. Exhaust, exhaust. Fresh air. Bam! But yeah, enough of the shop situation. You guys are gonna hear about that a lot since it's so much work. How about we just show you what what we got planned for the next few weeks? I'm gonna turn the camera around real quick. So we got this K series sitting right here. We are gonna be doing a swap for a uh, CRV Honda CRV, just a replacement of the motor. Hopefully, it'd be simple. But. I try to I try to steer away from doing mechanical work and all that. It just it gets tedious when I do a lot of painting. I try to steer steer away from doing small jobs, only big painting jobs. Of course, worth my time. Mechanic, same thing. I don't only take things that are worth my time. Something I enjoy doing. But if you're wondering, check out that Civic in the background. So we had picked up a '99 Civic. Sister-in-law Jandy and brother Cedar had picked up a. 
a wrecked one. I saw it for a great deal. I was like, man, if you guys don't get it, I am going to pick it up. So I'm going to show you a photo of it when it looked like when it looked like before we picked it up in the accident. I'm going to poke it right there. Is that good enough? You see it? Yeah, front end damage. But yeah, uh, my brother had uh, went to the junkyard. We saved ourselves a lot of money getting OEM parts. He hacked off and got us some uh, got a new course port. He had did the work and drilled it off at his place. No videos because it's uh, it's at his place. <laughs> but um, he had drilled everything out. We're only gonna up, uh, replace the upper half. We already had pulled everything out. You always want to pull it out to best as you can and get everything to line up before you start hacking up and replacing. Because that way you know everything's straight. So everything is already straight already. It's straight, so we decided to hack it off. So, just had the sister-in-law, Jandy, clean everything up really good with some waterborne cleaner and some solvent cleaner, and she scuffed the crap out of it. She spends a good amount of time on this. Really tedious. Everything's important. It's easy, but it's important because I could focus on something else, something more uh, worth my time, more higher skill. But every help, help helps out in the shop. Even if someone comes here and sweep while we work, you know, I appreciate anybody that comes in to help. It's even holding a beer. Yep. <laughs> but um, mm, yep. I'm going to turn the camera around mm. real quick. So, just going to do a quick explain what's going to happen. It's not completely straight yet. We're going to come over here. I'm going to get my hammer, dolly, plan of shit good and even. I mean, most people would just weld it on there, and you can't even tell, but I don't do that. That's not how I work. We're going to plan this everything, get everything straight. Like this is lightly, lightly, slightly bent still. Can't even tell. No one would do this right here. I'm gonna have to get a dolly hammer. But once all that's all good to go, do the same thing to here. Straighten everything out with the plant, uh, hammer and dolly. Throw it on there. Weld and paint. But stay tuned. You're gonna go straight to time lapse, alright? All right, that about wraps it all up. All the base coats down. We got four and a half coats. Um, let's check it out real quick. Yeah, looks 100% uh, better. In fact, the factory, they didn't even spray all this. It was just dust coat. But it is all, I, I wouldn't scuffed it all and did it since we're spraying up here. Looks good, needs clear. But yeah, this is a nascent base coat. It coverage is decent, but four and a half coats. I mean, if I would have went and got with a more expensive brand like um, Sean Williams that I like to spray, two coats would have covered it and I would have been done probably an hour ago. You know, 
one coat flash 10 15 minutes the next one next and all of a sudden an hour passed by but enough rambling on i think we are going to call it quits just want to throw a little content of me working while i'll give you guys a little update of what's going on but just want to say i appreciate the viewers that are watching and i'm mainly doing these videos mainly started with me doing it for my kids in case something happened to me in the future down the road they got a little memory of me and them working in the garage working in the shop with their dad and all of that but the bonus part is that i'm actually getting you guys viewing and watching so it helps out so please bear with me please like share and subscribe and you guys have a good week all right